All right, so put yourself in this situation. You're filming a time lapse of a 3D print. All of a sudden, the lights in your room start flickering. And by lights in my room, I mean the 12 volt LED strip that I use as studio lighting for doing any kind of camera work, whether it be this or 3D printing. And all of a sudden, you realize that your power supply is about to die. More specifically, the NTC in your power supply is already dead and it's starting to arc over and do some weird things and smell really bad like it's burning. So you decide to unplug it because you don't want to burn your house down. And currently your lights are running off of a lithium ion battery pack, which is uh, dying quite quickly. And you need 12 volts from something. So you go out into your junk pile of computer parts and you find an old 12 volt, or well not 12 volt, but ATX power supply. This thing is what we're gonna use to hotwire my lighting system. So anyway, I'm basically gonna show you how to jumpstart one of these things, which is pretty much everyone already knows this. If you take the green wire to one of the black wires, the power supply turns on. Not that amazing. Uh, and this also has, you know, a whole bunch of connectors that we can use to, uh, you know, power up our lighting system. So I'll probably go ahead and cut off just one of these. I think I, think I can carry enough current off of one wire to, uh, be able to do it. I don't want to cut off the SATA connector though. I want to cut off something useless. <clears throat> Alright, so what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to cut off this Molex connector probably somewhere in the middle. We'll just cut this off right here. Like so. I have two ground wires. We have one red wire and one yellow wire going down the Molex line, which is also what's got the uh, floppy connector on it. But uh, Anyway, yellow is 12 volts, black is ground, black is ground, and red is 5 volts also. If you see somewhere else, the, uh, the yellow line is 3.3 volts. One of these colors is negative 12 volts. I think that's like gray or blue or something like that. Uh, and that will be in this main 24 pin. And what we're really interested in is this green wire here, which is the wire that turns your power supply on because when you just plug this in, Maybe if you have a switch on the back, this one doesn't have a switch on the back, but if you had a switch on the back, you turn that on, it's not actually gonna do anything until you short that green wire out to one of the black wires. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and strip off the yellow wire because I want 12 volts. And I'm gonna strip off one of the black wires because we need ground with our 12 volts. All the black wires are pretty much at the same potential as far as I'm concerned, as far as it really matters, all the black wires are the exact same thing. Unless, of course, you have one of those newfangled power supplies that all the wires are black on, in which case, not all the black wires will be the same thing. So, anyhow, what we're gonna do now is take a piece of wire. I think I've got one somewhere. Here we go, we got a piece of wire, I think it's about the right size. For this, actually, I'm gonna cut this end off because it's got disgusting solder blobs on it. Strip off some of this like so. What we're gonna do is go in between, on the main 24 pin connector, we're gonna go in between the green wire, which is this one, and we're just gonna jump that right across to one of the black wires, which there's one right by it. And that should, theoretically, allow this power supply to turn on. And hopefully, there we go, now we have a nice jumper pin, nice jumper cable, I guess, just to, uh, go right between these two pins and hopefully it makes enough pressure to make contact with those and actually turn our power supply on. Actually, we'll go ahead and plug it in and we'll see. This power supply, it's really obvious when it turns on because the fan will start to spin. Do that and I'll plug it in somewhere. Maybe if I have an outlet. All right, so I've got the power supply plugged in. The fan is over here not spinning. If I take our little jumper wire, we go between the green one and one of the black ones. Like so, and that should make sufficient contact pressure. The fan is now spinning. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I can feel air moving through it, so, it's fin so it is spinning. And we should, in theory, have 12 volts coming between these two lines, which I can also check. Definitely don't want to touch them together or you don't want to touch them to the power supply case. Uh, one thing with ATX power supplies, usually ground is actually a reference to earth ground, I do believe. Um, so let's see if I have 12 volts here. Some of these also need a minimum load, otherwise they won't stay on, which is kind of annoying, but... 
the newer ones I don't think usually require that and I'm not really sure this one I've left running before and it's usually okay yep so there we go we got 11.9 volts out in between those two wires let's go ahead and hook this in make sure it actually works we can just unplug the power supply too all right I got it hooked up got all three sets of uh, alligator clip wires that run into the power uh, for the lighting system hooked in and a bunch of wires here and by the way the uh, the bottom of this power supply doesn't have any air vents on it's just a flat piece of metal uh, so I'm not restricting the uh, airflow into this in any way all the uh, air gets sucked in through the top and the back and up there my lights are back on again so anyway that's about it for now guys uh, thanks for watching this quick little tip hopefully you find it useful and I'll see you in the next video guys bye